Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one then, I'm gonna be showing you three products and exactly how much profit they made. So we're gonna be looking at their Facebook ads, reverse engineering the numbers to work out, to give us a pretty good idea then of how much actual profit that Facebook ad generated. Now, before we jump into product number one, I just wanna quickly mention, as always then, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me in this video. If that's something that you might want to win, then all you have to do is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my previous video, then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And with that being said, then guys, let's jump straight into product number one. So here we are then guys, product number one, which is this belt beer buckle. As you can see, it's just the buckle itself and it kind of like folds forward into like a beer holder. So it's quite a fun product. Um, it's the sort of product that will get quite a lot of attention, which we're gonna be looking at in a second. Um, well, you can actually see on screen now that this one particular product had 80,000 shares, which is just a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of shares. And as the result of this then, you can see that this video, even though it's three weeks old, which isn't very long at all, has had 22 million views. So you can see that this shopping network, which is a big dropshipping company, um, have obviously made quite a significant amount of money off of this ad. But in terms of how much money exactly, then that's what we're gonna work out in this video. So before we jump into the numbers then, um, I've based like the average conversion rate around kind of like the three to 4% mark. Now there's a lot of controversy about what is more accurate, um, but 4% to be honest guys, with Facebook ads is pretty achievable. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put some screenshots of my stores um, up on the screen now, so you can see what kind of conversion rates I've been able to achieve. So that's what I'm basing the conversion numbers on. And then to work out, all we simply need to do is work out how many clicks a particular ad has had. Um, and then we can reverse engineer the process from there to work out exactly how much money it made. Before we jump into this though, I just wanna give you some more background information on this product. So this is the product itself. Because it's a short link, we can use this pretty little cool little tip and trick um, to find out how many exact clicks that particular link has had. And if I just open up this page here, you can see the beer buckle has had 36,000 clicks, which to be honest guys, isn't actually that lot considering the video has had 22 million views. So that tells me that the traffic that has seen that um, actual video is probably pretty decent traffic. And what's good about this one too, is it's actually a product that is currently being advertised. So something that you guys could potentially go out and sell right now yourselves and be able to make some money with. So all the traffic then, or the majority of it, pretty much all of it um, has come from Facebook as you can see here. So 36,000 clicks. Um, this is their website so we can see what they're selling it at, which is $30. Um, there's just another image to prove it is the same product. And then finally, this is the product on AliExpress, which we can see that kind of like on average, you can buy it for about seven pounds. So they're all the numbers that we need. And if we just go back to the process, then we can reverse engineer it, which I'm gonna take you through now, um, to work out roughly how much kind of profit then that one particular ad has generated for that company. So starting from the top then guys, as we saw, there was just a little bit over 36,000 clicks based on a conversion rate of 4%. Um, now I've tried to like lowball the numbers, worst case scenario. So if anything, I reckon it's a bit higher than this. Anyway, conversion rate of 4% um, and 4% of 36,000 is about 1,500 purchases. The product cost is sold at 29.99, which equals a total of 43,000 US dollars. The cost of goods sold then on average, um, I found the exact products on AliExpress and this was one of the cheapest, which is $7.13, times that by the amount of purchases, so that's just to fulfill those orders. Um, leaves a total product cost then of a little bit over $10,000, which leaves in terms of the product sales and product cost minus against each other, leaves a profit of $33,000, which actually isn't as high as I thought it would be when I saw the amount of views that particular video had. Anyway, that's obviously not the true profit cost because there's gonna be a marketing cost involved in that. So we saw as well that the, that one particular video had 22 million views. If we divide that by a thousand, that's gonna give us how many CPMs we need to times by to work out the marketing cost, if that makes sense. So there's 22,000 CPMs. Um, minus the 80,000 shares works out at only 2,000 CPMs. So what that means there is that 
when you take 22 million divided by a thousand, that gives you how many CPMs um, you need to times the average CPM by. So if the average CPM was $5, you would time 22,000 by $5, and that would give you the Facebook ad cost or a pretty good rough amount. But because there's been 80,000 shares of that particular product, if you base that on the average Facebook user of, of having 200 friends, which reduces the amount of CPMs down to 2000, um, which is in theory, they've only paid for about 10% of the overall traffic. The rest of it is going to be organic, which is just absolutely mind blowing. Um, and I've based the average CPM then of what they've had to pay for on $5. Now, in reality, I think that's it's going to be a ton more cheaper than that purely because they've got so many shares. It wouldn't surprise me if their CPM was less than a dollar. But again, I'm trying to like do worst case scenario to give you guys a, a pretty good idea. Um, so to me then, I've managed to estimate that at approximately $10,000 purely on Facebook. So if we take that away from the profit, then it leaves an overall profit of approximately $23,000. Now, if you compare that to the 22 million views, then it doesn't sound like a lot, but what you've got to remember is that they've not had to pay for the majority of that traffic because it's such a good ad it's quite a funny product and it's so relevant for this time of year as well um, then that's pretty much just they've took like the ideal thing you can do for a social media platform and applied it to a product it's the sort of product that people will share just because it's a funny product and everybody knows somebody who likes to have a beer especially this time of year so it's just gone viral and it's just produced some really good results so essentially then that's exactly how the process works um I put a lot of thought into this. As you can see, it took me a while to go through the calculations. So I don't think I missed anything, but if you guys think I did, then of course, make sure you leave a comment down below and point it out. Obviously, I haven't put into that corporation taxes or VAT or anything like that. But to give you guys just a general rule of thumb, that that is a product that somebody is advertising today and making some decent amount of money win. So with that being said, then guys, moving on to product number two, which is the soothing dog bed. So in case you're wondering what it is, this is the product itself here. Um, I'm not going to show you too much of it. You can clearly see it's pretty much just like a shaggy dog bed. Um, and in terms of like the engagement, etc., you can see it's got 3,000 shares um, and 2.9 million views, which is pretty decent. And what we can see as well is it's another short link, which means we can work out the amount of clicks this particular ad had, which was 32,000 clicks. And again, this is a product that's currently being sold now. So if you guys are struggling for product ideas, then this is definitely um, a product with good potential because they're making money with it right now. You can also work out the locations as well, which gives you a good, well, it tells you exactly where to actually advertise in terms of on Facebook as well. You know exactly which countries are the most profitable. Um, so anyway, that's the data. This is the product um, page on the actual website. And we can see that what I've based these numbers on then is the, the average size. So it's based on this medium size bed, which they're selling at $54.99. Um, and then this is the exact same product um, on AliExpress, which I found. In fact, I think they're pretty much using the same image as well. If we compare this image to this one here, it's pretty much the same image. So I'm pretty confident that it's like the Idaiku, the, the identical um, bed as well. So we're seeing the product then, what do the numbers look like? Now I'm gonna go through these a bit quicker, um, purely because you've seen the process once. I don't wanna make this video too boring, but make sure you do stay tuned for when I do go through the breakdowns because each breakdown is gonna be a little bit different, which you'll see in a second. So anyway, 32,000 clicks, conversion rate of 4%, which again, I think is probably a bit low. Um, I know, especially for be from being in a dog niche myself um, and from the screenshots you saw earlier, consistently all throughout the year, or at least in the past few months, I've been able to achieve um, a bit better than that, in fact. So that works out about 1,300 purchases. Product cost on their website is $54.99, which works out at a little bit over 70 grand then in terms of sales. Cost of goods sold then on average for the exact same product, same size of bed as well, um, was $17.64 times that by the amount of orders. Um, and you have a total product cost then of nearly $23,000, which leaves a pretty healthy profit then of $48,330.90. And that didn't make sense, but the numbers are on the screen. So moving on to the marketing aspect, 
Um, we saw the video had 2.9 million views, again a decent amount. Divide that by a thousand um, and that gives us 2,900 CPMs to times our average CPM buy. Now, what I haven't done here is I haven't included the shares which the video had and if we were to, then it would minus about 600K from the total views which would make it a bit cheaper. Um, so again, I just wanted to do this just to make the numbers pretty much look as bad as possible so that I didn't make things look too easy because just because the numbers are here, you can see the exact product that Facebook ad, um, it doesn't mean that you'll be able to sell it yourself. There is obviously a skill um, and strategy behind selling these particular products. So the average CPM for the dog niche I know pretty well because I advertise it myself is about $12. Um, if you're going for purchases, it's obviously gonna be more expensive whether you're choosing purchase as an objective or uh, traffic. So $12 per CPM times that by the 2,900, it gives you a Facebook ad cost of about 35 grand. Minus that then from the product sales profit gives you an overall profit of approximately then $13,500, which again is a pretty healthy profit margin. A common thing that you'll notice with all these products is that everybody has spent quite a lot of amount on Facebook ads. And if you watch my previous video, you'll see as well that when it comes to making money on Facebook, kind of pretty much the more money you spend as long as you've got a good ad set and a good product and good store the more money you spend is the easier it is to make money don't take that the wrong way though and think right i'm just going to funnel a ton of money into your facebook ads because unless you do those three things correctly then you will just lose money so anyway, that's product number two moving on to product number three then which is the full body pillow now when i first saw this product i thought i didn't think a lot to it to be honest because it's a pretty basic product um, and in terms of having a specific market for it, I couldn't really think of one. However, when I went through the numbers then, I was quite pleasantly shocked. So let's have a look at the product first then, which is this one here. I'll just play the ad for you guys so you can see exactly what it is. It's like this U-shaped um, full body pillow. To me, nothing special really, but just look at the amount of shares. It's just ridiculous, 116,000 shares. To me, I don't get why that has so many shares. Like, It's not even like a good product, but anyway, that's me. In fact, that's a good kind of like lesson is that never base a potential of a product on what you think personally, because there'll be certain products that you try and sell um, that you think will do really well and you won't be able to sell a single one. And then there'll be certain products that you'll look at and think nobody will ever buy this, um, but then it will just completely take off for you. So never go on what your own personal kind of thoughts are behind a product. So anyway, 120,000 shares, that's reflected in the views, 18 million views, crazy amount. But the best thing about it is it's got a short URL, which means we can look at how many clicks we got, which is 130,000 clicks. And if you look at where the data come from, it looks like they pretty much just shoveled a ton of money into this on day one. Um, for whatever reason, maybe they, maybe it just took off for them. So they decided to move it into a different store. I don't know, to be honest. Um, but we can see it's all Facebook traffic pretty much. Um, and again, we can see all the different countries in which that traffic come from. Now, just before people start commenting on the video saying, oh, people have fake traffic or it's low quality traffic. This is why this is so, so much of a powerful thing, because if you look at the locations, You'll be, you can see where the clicks have come from. And if it's come from low value countries, then you know that it's not legit and can't be trusted. Whereas we can see here, it's come from Germany, Canada, UK, that's United States at the top. So it's all coming from top tier quality countries. So anyway, 130,000 clicks. Um, this is the products on their site. They're selling it for $50. Um, and then again, this is the exact same product on AliExpress for a cost of £16.43. So that's the product then. Let's go through the numbers very quickly. So starting from the top then, we have 130,000 clicks. Conversion rate, I've put this a bit lower just because the product is a bit more expensive and it's quite a broad product as well. Um, there's not really one specific market. Purchases, a little bit under 4,000. The product cost is $50, which equals a little bit under 200,000 US dollars in sales. Cost of goods, 1643 exact product again. Um, times that by the amount of purchases gives 65 grand in terms of cost of goods sold total, um, which leaves a product sales profit of a little bit over 100,000, 130,000 US dollars. Moving on to marketing then, I've already spoiled it and showed you the overall profit, but whatever. Um, views 18 million, divide that by 1,000 equals 18,000. Now I haven't included the 116,000 shares either. So that again, this is gonna be way off. It's gonna be so much under this. But anyway, I've based the average CPM of $5. 
um, which gives us 90,000 Facebook ad spend, which leaves an overall profit of approximately $41,000. I wouldn't be surprised if it's double, if not triple that. But there you go, that's product number three. And moving on to product number four then, which is kind of like a bonus product because it's not a dropship product, but for all the serious people out there about building a serious business, then this is the one I want to show you. And if you are in this for the long game and you wanna build a serious business, this is the kind of product and store that I want you guys to aim for and just kind of like base yourself on. And the reason for being this then is because they're not just any old dropship in general product. Um, they've built a brand, they look really professional and they've got a really decent product. So it's the Nomatic Backpack. Um, let's have a look at the product itself first, which is this product here. Let me start from the beginning. So again, they've invested in a really good um, video ad to pretty much just demonstrate absolutely every kind of like function and feature of their product. And in terms of the engagement then, we've got nearly 5,000 shares and 8.2 million views. And again, um, they've been kind enough to leave us a short URL so we can see that this backpack had 160,000 clicks. And again, this is something that's selling um, right now. Um, in terms of what it looks like then, so this is a website, you can see this is just not any everyday dropshipper. This is a legitimate business that raised money on crowdfunding, put a lot of time and investment and research into this product, but just look at how professional it is. Um, don't be in a rush to make money. If you wanna build something big and substantial and profitable, as we'll see in a second as we go through the numbers, then this is what it takes. Don't be in a rush. And they sell this backpack then has the very cheapest bundle for 240 US dollars. Now, because it is a unique product um, and it's branded, I couldn't find the exact one on AliExpress, but here's one that to me looks pretty similar. I mean, in terms of the way it opens up and the sort of things it stores and it can charge your phone, then it's pretty similar. So in terms of price, I think it's gonna be there or thereabouts, especially because these guys will be ordering that backpack um, in bulk. So it wouldn't surprise me if it's around this number, um, if not, maybe a bit cheaper. So anyway, that's the product then. Let's have a look at the numbers because this is the big one. This is the one that made a lot of money. Um, so link clicks then, 160,000 conversion rate. Now obviously because it's an expensive product, um, I've reduced the conversion rate significantly to about 1.5%, which I think is pretty reasonable. Um, if you don't think so, then make sure you let me know what you think. Um, purchases wise, then that puts it at 2,400 purchases mm -hmm. at the product cost of $240. Now that's the cheapest option. There might be some people that have bought the more expensive one, um, but again, I'm lowballing it. It gives a sales total then of $575,000. Cost of goods sold then is approximately $40, which I just took from AliExpress, leaves a total product cost of a little bit under $100,000, um, which gives a total product sales profit of $480,000. In terms of marketing then, we saw the video has 8.2 million views, divide that by the thousand, that gives us 8,200 CPMs. And this doesn't include the 4.5K shares, which is approximately 1 million people, which is a lot. That's more than 10% of the views um, from organic traffic, which means this Facebook ad cost could probably be reduced quite a lot. Plus the fact that I've based the average CPM on $20, which I think um, is probably close to double what they're probably actually paying because it's quite a broad ad. The broader you go with Facebook, then it tends to be like the cheaper your CPM is. <laughs> So anyway, the average CPM, $20 um, times that by that, and you get $164,000, which in reality, I think is probably um, less than that. But anyway, take that away from the product sales profit, it gives you an overall profit of approximately $300,000. Um, As you can see, um, a pretty nice chunk of money. And the reason I wanted to show you guys this product, then this fourth and bonus product is because to show you that if you want to make a ton of money, it takes more work. It doesn't just take like, a couple of hours to put a Shopify store up and use some stock photos. You've got to put invest a lot of time into designing a product or at least adapting a current product, getting it branded, ordering um, a few different samples to your own house, taking really good quality pictures. Um, in terms of how people use it, going out into the street and using it in the street, if you use it in the street or whatever, just basically what I'm trying to say is that the more successful you want, or the more money you want to make, then the harder you have to work and the more time you have to put in, the more professional you have to be. There's just so much more that goes into running a successful business than people realize. 
And anyway, on that note then, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. If you're still watching, thank you very much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, all I ask is that you simply leave the video a like. And if you wanna be entered into the draw for a chance to win a one-to-one -one call with me, then of course, please make sure you leave a comment down below as well. And with that being said then, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. So here we are then guys on the previous video, quite an important one, um, but because it's not like a major subject, it might not get many views. But anyway, please do go make sure you check it out and leave a like. Um, anyway, I'm gonna take the video URL at the top of the screen, head over to the random comment picker. So these competitions are 100% random. I do not pick the winners. Um, go ahead and click start then and let's see who the winner of that video is going to be. So the winner of the previous video then is this person here. Thank you very much for leaving a comment on my store, on my store, um, on my video. Make sure you reach out on Instagram then and we can get that call arranged. And for everybody who didn't win this time, then thank you very much for commenting on my video. Please do make sure you come back and comment in on the one you just watched. Um, and for everybody who wants to stop trying to look and simply just get straight down to business and book a call, um, you can actually do so. All you have to do is simply check out the links in the video description down below um, and you'll see a link there. And with that being said, guys, thank you for watching once again. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.